Hey everybody, this is Chris, and welcome back to another English learning video.、And、by the way, just before we start, if you haven't done this already, if you want to improve your accent in English, if you want to learn to speak with a British accent, you can sign up and you can take my free mini course to help you correct some of your mistakes. All you need to do is click the link in the description to this video, put in your email address, and you can sign up there. In this video, we're going to be looking at、um, different accents in Harry Potter. A lot of people, when they think of British accents. They think of Harry Potter. So I thought it'd be really cool to have a look at some scenes from Harry Potter and see what we can learn from the different accents in、uh, the films. And the first scene I've chosen is from the first film. It's where Harry is just about to go on the Hogwarts Express train to go to Hogwarts School. Okay, if you've seen the film, you'll know about this. So let's have a look at this scene together. I'm only joking. I am Fred. Excuse me. Okay, so notice the way he says "excuse me." Even though "excuse" it starts with the letter E, but it's actually pronounced "excuse." Excuse me. We stress the "excuse" part. Excuse me. That's the first thing he says. Could, could you tell me how to how to get onto the platform? It's <laughs> not too early, dear. It's Ron's first time to Hogwarts as well. Now all you've got to do. Is walk straight at the wall between platforms nine and ten. Best do it at a bit of a run if you're nervous.、Good. Notice the way she says Hogwarts. This is using the very British sound, ah,、oh, hog, Hogwarts. If it was American English, it would be hog, but here it's hog, Hogwarts. Okay. She also says walk into the wall. You get this long or vowel sound, walk into the wall. Okay, so let's see how he does that. Good luck. Excuse me. Do you mind? Everywhere else is full. Not at all. Okay, so Ron is coming into the train, and he speaks in a different way to Harry. Harry speaks in a very clear way. He speaks in very、uh, proper English, a little bit posh English. But Ron speaks in a much more casual way. So again, he said, "Excuse me." Then he, instead of saying, "Do you mind?" He said, "Do you do you mind?" So this "do" is shortened to "do you mind?" "Do you mind?" And then he goes and sits down. I'm Ron, by the way. Ron Weasley. I'm Harry. Harry Potter. So here you can clearly hear the difference in the way they speak. Harry has more of a standard received pronunciation accent, and Ron speaks in a more casual way. So when he says "by the way," he says it sounds like "by the why," "by the why," "by the why." And Harry Potter. When people think of the British accent, they think of Harry Potter, right? So he actually pronounces both of the T's in Harry Potter. Harry Potter. He doesn't say Harry Potter. Is Harry Potter, and again he gets this very British "o"、oh, sound in the middle, Potter, and then it has an "u"、uh、at the end, "o、oh, u、uh, Potter," Harry Potter. So he's pronouncing this in a very proper way. So, so it's true. I mean, do you really have the 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 what? So、even when he says the what, he doesn't say the what. A lot of people, when they were saying what, they would say what, what, like what you mean, what are you doing? But he says what, pronouncing the t again, speaking very properly. Oh, oh. Yeah. wicked! So this is an example of British slang.、Uh, in the Harry Potter films, you get a lot of very British slang words. Wicked means something that's really cool or really good. Not really said so much nowadays, but、um, probably it was back then. Anything off the trolley, dears? No thanks. I'm all set. So he says, "I'm all set." What does "all set" mean? It means I've got everything I need. I don't need anything else. So that's what he's meaning here. We'll take the lot. Again, he said "lot," pronouncing that "o"、oh、sound again, and the "t" at the end of the word "lot," "lot." Whoa! 
Bertie bought every flavour beans. They mean every flavour. There's chocolate and peppermint, and there's also spinach, liver and tripe. So listen to the way he says tripe here. Tripe is talking about internal organs of animals, and he pronounces it like tripe, 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 instead of tripe. So it's a slight difference in the accent. And the way he says also is also quite interesting. He doesn't say also. He shortens this to also, also. So some people will do this. They will drop sounds in the middle of words when they speak. It's not strictly um, standard British pronunciation, but it's what a lot of people will do. George sweared he got a bogey flavoured one once. What does bogey mean? He's talking about the snot that comes out of your nose. The bean is bogey flavoured. These aren't real frogs, are they? It's just a spell. Besides, it's the card you want. Each pack's got a famous witch or wizard. Got Again, so he says want, want. He doesn't say want. He drops the T at the end of the word. It changes to a glottal stop. Want, want, like that. About 500 myself. Watch it. Oh, that's rotten luck. I've only got one good jump in them to begin with. I've got Dumbledore. I got about six of him. So, has anyone seen a toad? So notice the way she says toad. She uses this long diphthong sound. Oh, and if you want to speak in a very native like British accent, you need to get these diphthong sounds right. The long sounds like oh. Oi, and other sounds like that. These are very important. A boy named Neville's lost one. No. Oh, are you doing magic? Let's see then. <clears throat> Sunshine, daisies, butter, mellow. Turn this stupid fat rat yellow. Are you sure that's a real spell? So notice the way she says sure here. This again, this. Or oh, diphthong sound, very characteristic to British English. Uh, some people would also pronounce this sure, sure, but she says sure. Are you sure? Well, it's not very good, is it? Of course. So you'll notice that Hermione also speaks in a very proper way. She says all the T's at the end of her words. Instead of is it, she says is it, is it with the T sound at the end of the word. I've only tried a few simple ones myself, but they've all worked for me. She really emphasizes the word, simple ones, myself. Getting the right emphasis is very, also very important in English. For example. Notice the way she says, for example, this R sound is a very long vowel sound, characteristic of received pronunciation, R. You don't get this in American English. Example, R. Oculus Reparo. That's better, isn't it? Isn't it? Again, she pronounces the first T, but not the last T. She doesn't say, isn't it? She says, isn't it? Beckett, you're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. Again, she says, Potter, Potter. There's that word again, Harry Potter. And you are? Um, Ron Weasley. Pleasure. You two better change into your robes. I expect we'll be arriving soon. And she's got this robes, this O, oh, long diphthong sound. Robes means uh, the magic cape that you wear. You've got dirt on your nose, by the way. Did you know? Just there. And listen to the way she says dirt. Again, uh, this is a very British sound. Dirt, dirt on your nose. So um, this is used a lot in received pronunciation in words like her, shirt, and dirt. So another sound to pay attention to.
So we've looked at Harry Potter, Ron and Hermione, but there are actually a lot of different British accents that you'll hear in Harry Potter. Because as you know, the British accent, it's not one accent. There are loads of different accents in different parts of the UK. So let's listen on and see what else we can hear from some different scenes. Can you imagine the look and we're gonna go to space if we were late? Perhaps it would be more useful if I were to transfigure Mr. Potter and yourself into a pocket watch. So here you can hear Professor McGonagall. She has a very posh, or you could say upper class kind of accent. And it sounds like she's almost not opening her mouth fully when she speaks because she's um, trying to speak very precisely, just like that. Perhaps it would be more useful. She speaks a little bit more like that. And she uses the word transfigure. What does that mean? It means to change something into something else by magic. I would rather pass from home. What shame was trying to do to that glass of water? Turn it to rum. <laughs> so you can see this boy here. What kind of accent did he have? He has an Irish accent. His name is Seamus in the, in the books. And this is another example of a regional accent that you can hear in Harry Potter. One of the sounds you can hear is the R, R. In the Irish accent, you get more of an R sound than in a standard received pronunciation. Class. I'll do the candle curse. You just set my bloody kneecaps on fire. I don't appreciate the insinuation, Longbottom. My eyebrows have completely grown back. You can hear here he says curse. In standard received pronunciation, this would be curse. But in this Irish accent, it's curse, curse. It's got more of an er sound in it, more of a erotic er sound. And you can also hear that he says eyebrows instead of saying ow in this word eyebrows he says eyebrows brows this is more of the irish pronunciation shut up harry stop 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 you're going to take someone's eye out Besides, you're saying it wrong. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Okay, so these are actually made up magic words, right? But she uses this ah sound again. I talked about this as a very important sound in the British accent. And she's talking about the stress of the word Leviosa. So um, stress is very important in English. You need to put the stress on the right part of the word in order to sound like a native. I talk about this in some of my other videos as well. Check this out weeks ago for a bit of light reading. This is light. Then I led them to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes? Shouldn't have said that. No more questions. Don't ask any more questions. What that dog is guarding is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. So Hagrid has a very uh, unique accent in this series of films as well because he has a slight West Country or Southwestern accent from the southwest of England. And this is what's called erotic accent. So he will pronounce the R's in words. So instead of saying guarding, he will say guarding, garden garden, like that. So this is one of the features of this accent. Instead of saying that dog, he would say that dog. Dog, dog. It's more of an ah sound, more, almost like an American accent, but this is a regional accent in the UK. So, as I said, you can hear different accents in this film. Starting is strictly between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Instead of saying not, he said not. I should not have said that. Okay, so this is his unique accent. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Well, you'll have to be trained up a bit, of course. <laughs> okay, so I really hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something new about British accents. If you liked it, please do give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to get all of my latest videos. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching, everybody, and see you again very, very soon.